power banks. They can save you from a dying phone. But how are they made? The first step is attaching the terminals to the positive and negative ends of a lithium ion battery via high energy quick soldering. Lithium holds a lot of energy in its atomic bonds, meaning they can store more energy and way less than other types of rechargeable batteries. Next, it's on to the PCBA, Printed Circuit Board Assembly. This is the brains of your power bank. The PCBA is complete and it's time to attach the batteries via the terminals. The newly joined circuit boards and batteries are sent down the conveyor belt to their first round of inspections. A DC power tester measures current and voltage from the circuit board's USB and USB min ports. The power banks are operating as expected, so it's time to encase them in their protective housing, which is generally comprised of aluminum or durable ABS plastic. CT100 testers are used to verify the electrical connections. In this case, making sure the chargers are capable of receiving and producing the power required to charge your devices. For the burn-in test, hundreds of power banks are taken from the assembly line and charged for hours on end. If they hold up without malfunction, they're ready for the next phase. Screen print, pad print, or laser engraving can all be used to brand these banks with your name and logo, transforming them from a useful tool to a certified promotional product. The power banks are given one more visual inspection, packaged, boxed, and shipped all over the world. So, the next time your phone, tablet, or e-reader are about to die, pull out your trusty power bank and take a moment to appreciate all the steps that went into creating this powerful little promo.